of my favorite stories I always tell in class or whatever else is, you know, kind of the discovery of especially this ectomycorrhiza. So they, the, the poster child of this is they were trying to plant pine trees in Puerto Rico. There are no native pine trees. If you've ever been to Puerto Rico, you'll see pine plantations, but none of those are native. There were no native ectomycorrhizal fungi in Puerto Rico. So back in the 60s, 70s, they went to California, got seeds, came back, planted them, and after years, they had little straggly trees. They just weren't growing at all. I mean, literally like this tall. So they went back to California, dug up the leaf, the duff, and soil around that, brought that back, planted the seedlings or the seeds, and all of a sudden, in six years, they had trees, you know, that were eight foot tall. And when they finally tracked it down, it was because of the mycorrhizae. And so from that point on, foresters all of a said, oh, hey, this is actually important. For 50, 60 years, nobody knew that was important. It was just a cute story.